If somebody comes up from behind us and grabs us with a choke, we have to take this choke and turn it into a non-dangerous situation. Okay? From here, this is dangerous because I'm squeezing the front of his neck. Okay? What turns this choke into a non-dangerous situation? No. Mark? If he steps behind me, now he turns it into a headlock. So he grabs the wrist and he steps behind. Now he's got more of a headlock, exactly like what we've been practicing. All he's got to do is step back around in front of me, right? Now he's in a perfect position to put me in a bear hug and do his takedown. You ready to stand? Okay, so when he grabs me in the headlock, I'll break it down a little bit. I grab my, his, my wrist right in here, fingers inside the elbow, fingers inside the wrist, and I pull it down. Okay, now I step around and I go here. Now he's not squeezing the front of my neck, but he's squeezing the back of my neck. This puts me in a much safer spot. Now he can squeeze my neck all he wants and it's not gonna hurt. I reach around his waist. Now from here, he only has one objective and that's to try to throw me down. So from here, as I'm pulling on his wrist, as he throws, I alleviate the pressure off my neck. Okay, just turn, 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 turn. Now once I step in front of him, this palm is down, this palm is up. Lock my hands together, start pushing. Now the leg over here, I'm gonna step in with it. Now I can feel his leg right there, so all I need to do now is sweep out his foot, and I can take him down and drop this leg instead of going to the side. This leg is here, just drop that knee down and scoot up to my mount position. Now I'm in a position to strike or look for my submissions from there, right?